Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to connect to and build a clip for your Facebook ads campaign. Specifically, I'll show you how to use a user input control and a variable to create a dynamic data source that will allow you to update the clip based on the campaign you select in the dropdown. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go to add a clip, build a custom clip, and I'm just going to select blank. And for our data source, we're going to create a new data source. So if I look up Facebook in the list of connectors, I will find the Facebook ads connector. And the two connectors we're looking for are the active campaigns, which will show you a list of all the active campaigns you have. Um, but that'll only get me the ID and the name of the campaign. Um, but it will not get me the stats on that campaign. So I'm also going to have to create a second data source for daily campaign stats and then connect them together using that campaign ID. So I'll start by adding the active campaigns uh, connector. It's going to ask you to authenticate with a Facebook account um, that has access uh, to that ad campaign. We'll click next step and as you can see there are two nodes in this data which represent two different campaigns that are going on in this account so this is what we want so we're going to continue I'm going to call this data source active campaigns 2 and click save and I'm going to start off by putting in a user input control, which is going to allow us to switch between the two campaigns so we can look at the stats separately. So I'm going to change the label for this input control and I'm going to go with the name and I'm going to switch to values here and I'm, for the values I'm going to go with the ID. Once we do that, you can see that now the dropdown has both of our campaigns showing up. Now we're going to add some other components to this clip. We're going to add a table and we're going to add also a bar chart. I'll put them below. And the way that our clip is going to know which stats to show for the campaigns um, is going to be through the use of a variable. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to this user input control and we're going to add a new variable. So if we do that, I'm going to call it adds test. We'll create that variable. So now the user input control is using that variable. Um, but we're going to have to create our second data source and tell that data source to show the stats based on this variable. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go to our library, click on data sources, and then create a new data source. We'll look for Facebook again and select Facebook ads. But this time, we're going to select the daily campaign stats. Once again, we're going to have to authenticate with the Facebook account that is linked to our ads campaign. Now, the difference on this time around is we're going to have to switch to custom settings. And you'll see in the query URL that it's actually taking the ID for one of the campaigns, the one that we... Uh, that was selected by default on the previous screen and it's populating it in right here. So to make this a dynamic data source, all we have to do is put in the variable here instead of hard coding the campaign ID. So we're going to do that using our curly braces and then we're going to type in props period and the name of our variable which was ads underscore test. We'll close our curly braces. 
and we'll click get resource. And as you can see, that pulled up stats for the last seven days, as we would expect. So we'll click continue. So I'll call this Facebook daily stats last seven days. Click save. Now we're going to go back to the clip that we were editing before. And we're going to add that data source down at the bottom here. So Facebook daily stats last seven days. So what we're looking at here is each uh, node representing a day. And for each of those days, um, we have the date as well as the impression numbers and the reach numbers. So we're going to go ahead and populate our table with this info. Uh, we'll start by choosing the day in the first column. And then we'll choose reach in the second column and impressions for the last. I'm just going to go and change the column headers here. So this is impressions. This one is reach. And this one is the date. I'll delete the last column since we don't need that one. And I'm also going to add a results row to the end of these so we can see how many impressions um, we had for the seven day period. I'll do that to both of these columns. Now we can test to see our dynamic data source is working by choosing a different campaign in the drop down. And you'll see that the numbers change along with it. And we're going to do the same for our bar chart here. We will choose for the x-axis, we're going to choose the date. Um, I'm just going to change the properties for that. So it's a little easier to read. And then for our series, we will select impressions. I'm going to just change the name of the series so that people know that we're looking at impressions. And that's it. We now have a user input control that allows us to select between the two campaigns and both of our components, our bar chart and our table are being updated based upon that selection. And that takes us to the end of the video on how to use a user input control, uh, variables, and dynamic data sources in order to build clips for your Facebook ad campaigns. You can find more videos like this as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.